Hey, it's Cam, quick and dirty, how to jump 24 volts with only 12 volts. And I'm gonna show you how not to blow up your machine or your service truck. Ugh. Oh, that's the stuff. First step, take your jumpers. 12 volts, 24, all right? Now Carson, plug that in. <laughs> Just kidding. For Demon's purposes straight, we'll the uh, well, um, we're just gonna show you how, how to hook it up. When they get that bad, when they're at like zero volts and one volt, the batteries are done. Like you might bring them back, but they're not gonna be reliable. You're gonna go and send this thing out on another job. And over a weekend, maybe they deplete and die again and the thing doesn't start, does the same thing. Some of you guys are gonna say, just charge them. Well, it's gonna take like two, three hours to charge those. If it was your car, it's different, I guess, because people with cars are cheap. That's why I don't work on cars. You know, and they want to, oh, can you just charge my batteries? Uh, you know, instead of replacing it because it's questionable. No, we, th these things make money. So when they're down, they lose money, right? Replace your batteries. Don't be shy. I'm not just throwing parts at it. It needs batteries. I don't, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say at home. Oh, just charge them. Give them a little extra on the welder. We got between this battery here, there'd be 12 volts, right? This one would be 12 volts, but across the ground to your machine positive, you got 24 volts. So now these are hooked to my truck. Not yet, but when they are, we got 12 volts between these. So the logical thing to do would be to go to our first 12 volt source. You really just do it one battery at a time. That's all, nothing, nothing fancy about it. You do one battery because the battery's 12 volts. You do that one. And then you do the exact same thing on this one. You don't have to switch your leads around or anything. You just go, black to black red to red on this one you do the same thing but because you got red boot here because of that this is your ground terminal though so this is your black terminal even though it's red don't let that confuse you though so black to black red to red black to black red to red is that confusing enough for you yet it doesn't matter what one goes on first or last controversial cam here i don't care take the ground off first take it off last it doesn't matter the only thing that matters and we mentioned it before Disconnect away from the batteries that have been cranking. That and wear safety glasses, because battery acid can be... <laughs> Brand new. Brand new shiny boys. It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. And then the other reason I don't care which side on here I do first or last is that it's, it's not live until I connect my connector there on the truck. And I was talking about those before I got the quick connects on there, so it actually connects them both at the same time. Now, the only reason you want to connect away from your batteries that were cranking, let's say, like say this thing had just had low batteries and it was cranking really hard and low and it starts to gas off the batteries. When you go and connect jumpers on this side, you got all that hydrogen gas kind of floating around this compartment, that's when you can have an explosion. So we connect away from that. That's the only thing that really matters with battery safety and what to connect first and last. You guys can argue it in the comments and let me know how wrong I am. I don't care, because I'm the one doing it and Carson's learning the wrong, right, right way. So, we just let it charge now and see what their our little juice meter says how many pixies we got look at that look at all that voltage that's not there i think this battery is completely <laughs> why do more 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 spin not make more juice go in how come if we go and rev the piss out of the truck we're not pumping more whatever through these I mean, this is gonna, let's prove, let's prove Cam wrong right now. 14.1, 13. We might go up a little bit, because I think usually it charges at like 14.5, but whatever. 0.5 of a volt. All right, Ripper. Oh no, look at that. She's, she's going up so much. To the moon. Look at all that voltage. That's crazy. So much, so much more juice. Oh, but the amps, that's right. No, there are no more amps because the volts are the same. Okay, that's good. So we can do a quick explanation on why it's the same. If our resistance is the same, our voltage is the same, why would amps change, huh? Why do they go up and down? Anyways, no, I mean, I'm, I, I'm coming from the background of always driving a work truck and doing this. I'm not, obviously not, I don't, maybe when you hook your little car up, if you got a, a low amp alternator, then yeah, you're gonna put this on and that batteries are gonna pull down your voltage, right? You're gonna go from charging at like 14.5 to maybe 13 or something. Then you gotta idle it up until you hit that 14.5 or 14, whatever your voltage regulator is set to. Once you hit that, you're not putting any more juice in though. You're not pumping more amps through, it doesn't work like that. So we've got 12.4, which is, 
So 12.6 is a fully charged battery. I don't remember the formula. Someone else can figure that out and post it in the comments, but it's like for every 0.1 of a volt, it's like 10% discharged or something like that, really. So when you think about it, if your batteries are at, guys will be like, oh, it's at 12 volts, like exactly, or 12.1, you know, that's actually like a 50% charged battery. It's not actually a full battery. Yeah, I, I doubt this is gonna go, but we'll go to this side now. We can give her a shot in the mouth. You wanna go up there, turn the key on? So we got power now, right? Yeah. It might start. Try it, I dare ya. Rock my batteries in my truck. Nothing? No click or anything, eh? Wowee. New battery time, told you so. All right, anyway, so Justy Power is 69. Um, <laughs> we did this one for you. Yeah, did this for you.